On behalf of the Governor John P. D. Young Jr., who is unable to be here with us today, but sends his warm regards and greetings to all. It is my privilege to once again join you on this wonderful occasion as we celebrate the 92nd anniversary of Transfer Day. It is a day of great significance and pride among our Virgin Islanders. A day that sets us as a community and a part that gives us greater access to economic, social, and educational opportunities. It was our defining moment in history. Transfer Day is special, not because it gives us more opportunity to celebrate the fact that we are Americans, but because it affords us the chance to pay homage to our Danish roots and history. Since 1917, it is fair to say that the ties between the Virgin Islands and the people of Denmark continues to become stronger. As Virgin Islanders, we are uniquely blessed. <coughs> Excuse me. We cherish, we cherish our union with America and have maintained the ability to cultivate, <coughs> Excuse me. to cultivate and benefit from this exceptional and enduring relationship with Denmark. Through relationships, we have participated in cultural exchanges between young Virgin Islanders and Danish people, giving each group the chance to explore and discover the many Danish traditions that remain a vital part of our heritage and culture. Our governments are collaborating and sharing genealogy and historical information and retrieving last documents and artifacts that are essential pieces to our history of the Virgin Islands. Earlier this month, a senator from the Virgin Islands was granted an official audience with the Danish government and spoke of the need to preserve and maintain our lasting ties. Senator Wade James became the first Virgin Islander since the legendary T. Hamilton Jackson to speak before the Danish parliament. I'll ask our good Senator to stand and let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. It is my continued wish that this partnership continues to grow. The advantages it presents to Virgin Islanders and Danes alike are tremendous. Our Danish history is evident in our cultural dances, our local architecture, and in the current name of our streets, estates, neighborhoods, and families. This history and relationship distinguishes us from the rest of the Caribbean. Welcome to all of our visiting friends from Denmark and to the people of the Virgin Islands that turned out today to witness this historic event. Now, it was interesting this morning, around 8 o'clock, maybe 7.30, Miss Nina York, whom I've known for many years, called and said, Mr. James, I am sorry to call you this early, but I'd like to know if you can give the keynote address this afternoon, this morning. <laughs> but I was a Boy Scout, and our motto is to always be prepared. So I graciously, if I may say, agreed and have now come to share some words with you. Um, you know, it's interesting when you have to speak on short notice, but it's also interesting when you have to speak at the end of a program because then you have to figure out now what has not been said already. So today I face two challenges, a last minute invitation to speak and to speak after, after numerous people who have shared wise words, but I'll proceed. Now, um, when I announced to dear friends of ours in Denmark that I was coming to Denmark to speak to the parliament, Greta Hagerman, who was born on St. Croix at Estate Lagrange in 1907, this is, a, this is a woman who lacked nothing in her life. She is the daughter of Gunnar Hagerman, who managed and then owned 
estates of his father, Gustav Hagemann, who came to Synchro in the 1870s and by the 1890s had bought almost 15% of this island. He owned estates all along the western shoreline from Estate Smithfield, Two Brothers, Mars Hill, Estate Lagrange, Williams and Punch, Prosperity, um, Wheel of Fortune, and the list goes on. He went back to Denmark in the early 1900s and sold his properties in 1922. His daughter, Greta Hagemann, who is now 102, when she got married in the 1930s, her wedding was the envy of the princesses of Europe. That lady, however, when she heard that I was coming to visit, and our families obviously have been connected for many, many years. As a matter of fact, in the paper today, there is a photograph that I took with her that celebrates the 100th anniversary, well, actually 101st anniversary of a photograph that she took with my grandfather. She was a baby, and she was, when my grandfather was studying in Denmark in 1908, she was sitting in his lap, and her brother, Gustav, was standing right next to the two of them. And in celebration of that photograph, she and I took a photograph together. I did not sit in her lap, but, <laughs> but she stood, she sat, excuse me, and I stood, and the photograph is today in the newspaper. Stay with us on News Channel 8. Your Caribbean News Report is up next. <laughs>